So I graduate from university tomorrow. And that is terrifying. Like, genuinely terrifying. I remember when my parents dropped me off. Like, I remember putting all my stuff in the car and we drove to university and we drove to my room and we got there and we put all my stuff in my room and then we went out and we had dinner and then we went back to my room and then they left and I just sat there and now I was living on my own in university and it was insane and I, I remember that so clearly but that was three years ago three whole years ago that happened a lot has happened in three years a lot has changed I've changed a lot I'm not the same person I was three years ago it's probably a good thing I'm much more sure of myself and who I am it sounds so cliche, but I found myself at university. You know what I mean? When you just, you kind of, you've got all this freedom. You just, you live on your own. You you do your own thing. You, you're in charge of yourself. And then that allows you to think about who you are and who you want to be and figure out that, hey, I don't really like that, but I like that. So maybe I'll do more of that, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. But I've been through a lot, you know, three years, three houses, I lived in halls first year, I lived in, another ha in a house second year, and I lived in a house, no, I lived in a flat even with my best friend this last year coming. I've done a degree, that's something that I've done and I have. I have a history degree. I got a 2-1 and I have a degree, like that's insane to just think about the fact that I have a degree. You know, like, what? What? So much work, so many nights of stress and panic and s lack of sleep and so many words. I've probably written thousands, I've written thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of words since I've been at university. I've read so many books, I've done so much academic stuff and now I have a degree and it's just, it's just crazy to me. Like... I don't even know. And the one thing they don't prepare you for or tell you about is leaving university. When you go to university, you have so much of like people giving you advice, telling you what to do, all these pamphlets, like what to do when you go to university. You have the careers at school, you have, you know, so many people there to tell you and help you from the process of living at home and going to school or sixth form to going to university and living where you well, usually living on campus or near campus in a different place. You have so much help and guidance. But then university finishes and you have to move back home. And it's like, what? Like, it's so hard to adjust. Like, not that there isn't support and help. Like, there is. There's stuff there, but like, just not as much. Like, they don't, they don't tell you about that. Yeah, they tell you all about going to university and how, like, you have to figure out how to cook for yourself and you've got to plan and budget and all that stuff but then moving back home there's nothing there's nothing like I have been struggling so much with being at home like don't get me wrong I love being at home I love my family I love my house it's so nice to just be at home and like not have to panic about whether I've done my essays or whatever you know what I mean like it's lovely but at the same time it's also really difficult because suddenly I've gone from living on my own, well, living with my friend, but like, independently, living independently, deciding what meals to have, what I do that day, what time I go to bed, all that stuff, to having all that decided for me, which is fine, but like, it's just, it's just a weird process, because suddenly now, if I, say, if I fancied Skateball Days for Tea, I can't have spaghetti bolognese for tea because that's what not what my family are having or if I want to stay up until one o'clock in the morning watching TV I kind of can't do that because the rest of my family go to bed and I share a room with my sister so like it's it's just weird it's just hard like it'll and it'll be fine because I'll get used to it but it's just the transition period and it's also hard where I live as well because there's nothing here there's nothing. I live in a village. It's, well, it's, it's an alright, it's, it's like, it's not like in the middle of nowhere, there's stuff everywhere. Chester's half an hour away. You can get to Liverpool in like an hour and a half, just as like a example. But like, there's nothing around here to do. 
And even if I wanted to do something, at the moment I don't have a car, I'm currently trying to buy one. But there's, there's like no buses. Well, there are buses, but they're like one every hour and it takes an hour to get anywhere that you want to go. So it's just, I feel very trapped in my own house at the moment. Like, yeah. Which is fine, like, I'm not complaining. I really don't want this to sound like I'm complaining. Because I'm not. It's fine. But, it's odd. And I miss it, you know? I miss university. I miss living with my friend. Like, that was lovely. Yeah, we drove each other crazy a lot. And, but, it was great. It was great living with him. I loved it. And, I miss hanging- I miss being able to just be like, Hey, do you want to do something tonight? And then doing something tonight. Whereas, like, now, everyone lives so far away. And especially for me, like, everyone kind of lives pretty close to each other. All my friends live, like, reasonably close to each other. And then I just sort of live over here. Like, oh, it's a pain. So it's, yeah, it's just kind of like, you, you go from, oh, yeah, do you want to hang out? Let's hang out, to... Do you want to hang out? Okay, let's decide a day where both of us are free and can get there and we don't have work or anything the next day that might bugger us up. Blah, 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 blah. Which again is fine. I'm not complaining because I love my friends so I'm going to make the effort and the time. Again, it's just one of those weird transition things. It's just weird. It's just weird. It's weird and no one tells you about it. And then there's the whole, you know, future thing. You have to plan for your future. This t-shirt is incredibly apt for today. It says I only look like a grown-up and like, yes. I don't know how to be a grown-up. I don't- I am, I'm having to do all sorts of things like I'm going for a job interview in two hours. Two hours! I have a job interview and I'm sat here talking to a camera in my jogging bottoms and this t-shirt. Like, and I'm going to all these job interviews and I'm applying for jobs and doing all this stuff, talking to banks, talking to <clears throat> important people and I, d I don't know what I'm doing. I, d I don't know what I'm doing with my life. It's like that's something that I don't know. I genuinely don't know. You go to university and they you're supposed to figure out what it is that you want to do but I don't know. <sighs> I genuinely don't know. I just I want to have fun with my friends. That's what I want to do but you can't do that. Because you can't make money off that. If you could, I would do it. But you can't. So it's just, it's just one of those things where I don't know where I'm going. And that scares me. Because I've always had, like, I've always known where I'm going, if that makes sense. Like, when I was in school, I was like, okay, I'll finish school, and then I'll go to university. When I was in university, it was always like, first year finished, oh, I've got two years left. Second year finished, oh, I've got this year left. And now it's like, I don't know what's going to happen next. And I'm the only one that can figure that out. I'm the only one that can decide what I want to happen next. But it's just difficult because I don't really know. Like, I want to do something fun that I enjoy. But I also need to be paid enough to live because, like, I don't want to live with my parents forever. I'd like to get my own flat. Like, <clears throat> I really appreciate my parents letting me live at home, but, like, I don't want to live at home forever. Like, I've got to grow up at some point and have a house or a flat or something. So, like, I need a job that pays money, but I also don't want to hate my life. I don't know, it's a tricky one, and it's not something that I'm going to figure out, like, anytime soon. It's going to be a, a sit down and just think a lot. I'm glad I have the friends I have to help. I miss them a lot. They know who they are. So yeah, that was my rant about life. I graduate tomorrow. 1.45pm. I will have officially finished university and that's terrifying. <laughs>